Since the release of Moto G series, it has been breaking markets all around the world. And here's what you should expect of the fourth generation of the Moto G. Hey guys, welcome to Hotspot. This is Raj and here's the Moto G4 Plus Revisit. I have been using this phone since its release in India, that is 3 months ago. And I swear, it doesn't let you down. Beginning with the hardware. Its body is made of plastic, but it still has a pretty nice feel to it. It is not as grippy as its previous generations, but that can be solved using skins or cases. It features a 5.5 inch 1080p display with Corning Gorilla Glass and its sharpness and quality are the best in its class. Its LCD display can be compared to phones like OnePlus 3 and Nexus 5X. Also, the screen is bright enough to use directly under sunlight. It comes with the cliche Motorola design with a dimple on the removable back. This year's model isn't waterproof like its predecessor, so don't take it in the pool. Moving on to the internals. The phone has Snapdragon 617 processor that allows the phone to multitask really well. Although, there are other variants with different specifications. We have the variant that is specifically made for India, which has 3GB RAM and 32GB of onboard storage that is expandable up to 128GB through microSD. With its Adreno 405 GPU, the phone is really able to handle heavy games like CSR Racing 2 without lagging. It comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and is very close to stock Android but still has some nice motor features like chop to launch the flashlight, twist to launch the camera and some new ones like flip to silence the calls. This phone is powered by a 3000mAh battery that can easily last a day with moderate to heavy use. It supports fast charging and has one of the fastest chargers available on the market. In our use until now, we've come across some minor bugs like the phone starts to lag sometimes when it gets overheated and even the camera gets a bit choppy. But that isn't a deal breaker at this price. It has front facing speakers that have great quality, though they aren't very loud, but are pretty good for this price. Now, two of the features that you can't get anywhere else at this price are its fingerprint sensor and its camera. The fingerprint sensor is lightning fast even when compared to some of the flagships. It literally opens with just a touch and is almost accurate every time. It's misleading and is often confused by people for the home button. I myself have tried pressing it sometimes. Coming on to its most stock feature is its camera, which is way ahead of its class. It comes with a 16MP shooter with f2.0 aperture but does not have optical image stabilization. It takes breathtaking outdoor photos and still has great detail and sharpness with a little bit of high contrast. Although low light photos are just above par, the phone is rocking a 5MP front shooter that captures pretty good selfies. So is this phone worth it? Absolutely yes. It's one of the best phones available at such a price. So that's all about the Moto G4 Plus. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries you can get to us in the comment section. Do like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. See you later guys.